Good morning and happy Sabbath for first church family. Good morning and happy Sabbath. For those of you watching us online, we would like to welcome you to our worship service this beautiful Sabbath morning. I pray that you guys were protected by our God during the winter storm, and we're so grateful for this beautiful weather. Amen? And on this beautiful Sabbath day, we want to fill our Sabbath with all the praises, with the words, and with the melody. And this morning, we have Burton Adventist Academy Choir, directed by James and Francis, here with us, praising God and blessing us. So you are lucky to be here. Amen? Amen. So may we spend a beautiful Sabbath enjoying God's greatness, goodness, through the lyric and through the melody that we listen from them. This time I would like to invite everyone to stand for our opening song, How Great Is Our God. Yeah. 
I would like to invite the deacons to stand at this time. Malachi, Malachi 3.10 test, test. Malachi 3.10 says, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty. And see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. We all have seen the blessings that God has given us in our lives. Let's return that tithes and that offerings that faithfully belongs to him. Let us bow our heads for prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we give you thanks 
because we have seen the blessings that you've poured out in our lives. We've seen how good you've been to us. We've seen how amazing you've been to us. And at this time, I'd like you to bless the happy giver, Lord. Bless each individual here that's going to give the tithes and the offerings. And I ask that you can multiply that money, Lord, and that will go to continue preaching your word to all nations, Lord. In your glorious name I pray. Amen. Amen. His word our hope secures. I was just 
listening to that song that you guys were singing, and, and that phrase just stuck out. His word, our hope secures. Do you realize his word is the same word we read every day in our Bible? And that same word spoke this world into creation, it spoke each one of us into life. That word is powerful. And we've had opportunity now to worship this morning in multiple ways. God is so good. He's blessing all the time. I, um, we, we've had opportunity to worship in tithe and offerings, in song, listening to and singing along with this beautiful choir. And now we have opportunity to worship God in prayer. What an opportunity that we can talk to our maker, to our creator. We can talk to him one-on-one -on -one or as in a group. So today is a special day. Thank you, Burton, for being here and sharing your talents with us. I would also like to read something special. As we were driving here this morning, we left a few minutes late, but we were going to be here pretty good on time. Well, little did we know that the Texas Department of Transportation doesn't know about the Sabbath day. And they had 20 pretty, I-20 I pretty much shut down. So we sat in traffic for about 41 minutes. And um, so a couple of verses came to mind that helped me not get too upset. And this is James 1, 3, and 4. For you know that your faith is tested. Your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. God knew I wasn't yet perfect. And so he sent me a, a little testing this morning. I would like to offer and invite uh, to offer a special prayer this morning for the Fort Worth Pathfinder Club. Fort Worth Eagles are participating in a Bible Bowl later today. And I would like for the church to put our arms around them and to be supportive of them as we pray for them. So, Pathfinders, I would like to invite you to come up and let's have a little huddle and pray. Come on up, Pathfinders. Okay, yes, so there may be other Pathfinders. Pathfinders are worldwide. So any other Pathfinders that are here visiting today from other Pathfinder clubs, please join us. We want to pray for all of you. <clears throat> Let's just come down here. Anybody that wants to come up and be supportive of the Pathfinders in prayer, I invite you to come up and let's kneel together and pray to God. You guys ready? All right. I want to point out a special thanks to Dana. Come here, Dana. Dana has been very helpful in preparing the Pathfinders for, no? No. No? Wrong Dana? Maybe there is a Dana or Dana. Oh, you're just being humble. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Thank you, Dana, for all you do to support our Pathfinder Club and preparing them for the Bible Bowl today. All right, let's kneel down as far as you can, and let's pray today. Dear God in heaven, our Father, our Creator, our Maker, the one that loves us so much, he gave his only son to make a way of freedom for us away from this putrid earth that we are living in right now. But we have hope, and your word secures that hope in our hearts. We mean, may we not forget that. That's why we need to read your word every day. We're here today, Lord, to bring praises and thanksgiving to you, to thank you for the testing times that you send our way day after day or year after year, but also for the many blessings that you pour out on us, uh, for giving us our tithes that we can give back to you so we can appreciate the gift of giving and to offer our offerings to you. What a meager gift that is to you for what you've done for us. Lord, I want to ask a special prayer on these young people here today, these pathfinders that are, have worked hard and have studied and prepared and have put their, your word in their hearts 
that they may know you and that they may know your words that are in their minds and that they may perform today in the Bible Bowl to bring glory to you. Lord, I want to ask a special prayer. We continue bringing our petitions for several of our church members and family that are ill. Continued prayers for Ezra Patterson and Lydia Perez and the thanks and continued prayers for Connie Lowry and her healing and for Wayne Brown's mother, Helen Brown, and her illnesses right now. Please bring your healing hand to them. And there are many others that I probably am forgetting to name, Lord, and I ask that forgiveness that I can't remember, but you know who they are. Place your healing hand on on them. Support them with your strong right hand. This week has been a difficult week for some families, for many people here in Texas, uh, as we are not prepared for the kind of cold, freezing weather that we had this week. But I want to thank you for getting us through this week and for helping those that had some rough times. There are also many natural disasters occurring around this world that we hear about every day on the news and wars and rumors of more wars and escalating wars. It's only by you that we can continue to have peace in our hearts, knowing that you are still in control. This reminds us, Father, that we need to be ready. I pray that you send your spirit to our hearts to, to bring a sense of urgency that time is very short and that we pour our energies into getting ready and to getting others ready to give the warning that time is short for them to make their final decision. May we be ready for your soon coming. Special prayer today for the talents that the Burton Choir is bringing to us to share their talents with us and to continue praising you in song. Help us to have open hearts and open minds to receive the message that they have for us today that you have intended. In the name of Jesus, your precious son that you've given to us, amen. Safely through another week, God has brought us on our way. Aren't you blessed this morning? So much has happened in this past week. You've heard in the prayer as well. There are families grieving because they've lost loved ones due to the weather and the accidents. But you all here are grateful this morning that God has blessed you. If you were as good as me and stayed indoors in this last week, then you are safe. You know, yesterday I tried to venture out a little bit and uh, fell a little bit, and, but I'm thankful I'm here this morning. It, it was kind of uh, uh, dangerous for most of us, especially where your houses are, are, are situated. You know, we don't get enough sunlight uh, in the front, so it makes it difficult to get down a little slope from the garage. But through it all, God has been good. I was able to say goodbye to my wife, who has gone to a pastor's wife's retreat this weekend. Pray for all our pastor's wives that are out there in San Antonio, that they'll be blessed this weekend. But we are so glad to be here this morning. Those of our members that are watching us live stream and not here, I know we sent out a text when a surgeon sends you a text and say there could be hip fractures or there's uh, ice out in the parking lot, you've got to act, you know, so we take the precautions, but we're glad for those of you who are here this morning. 
I'm so blessed to have Burton Choir here with us. There's about six of you that I know, a few of you from my former church, the DF. W. Fulham Church that I used to pastor, and some from here, Fort Worth. Glad that you are here this morning. I pray that God has been good to all of us as we worship, as we fellowship here at Fort Worth First. To those of you visiting, we want to say welcome to Fort Worth. May God bless you as you celebrate the Sabbath. Those of you parents who are here in support of your children, thank you for investing in Christian education. May God bless you as you continue to support Adventist education and your children. And I'm happy to see one of my colleagues here, Pastor Heidi from uh, Arlington. Good to have you. And I saw uh, Pastor Kent Rufo. Where is he? Is the oh yeah 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 and the family. He is the uh, chaplain at Southwestern. I think former chaplain of Burton and uh, youth pastor or associate at. Uh, Arlington Church, good to have you here this morning. God bless you all as we celebrate this wonderful Sabbath together. And happy birthday, Joe. We hope you have a good day. Glad you're here to support Norma in the story. Well, to our members, we hope that you, as you come into the lobby each Sabbath, you look at the bulletin boards. There's lots of flyers. There's not everything we can announce here. So we hope you are looking at those bulletin boards and seeing what's relevant to you. We want to encourage you to remember our mission statement here at Fort Worth. First, we are loving all through Jesus. We are making disciples for Jesus, for the soon return of Jesus. And it's all about loving each other and being lovable and being a community of believers that will invest in our community. So we pray that God will bless us all as we live for him each day. And then to our leadership team, a reminder that we need your announcements here on Wednesday morning at least. We need you to let us know so we could have the announcements in on time. And that's, this is every week. This is just a reminder. And our theme for this year is a gift with a purpose. We've been talking about it in the past few weeks, and we are preparing for our nominating committee coming up. Our term ends, uh, and we are praying. So you've been asked to look at some of the ministries here at Fort Worth First, and if you are a regular visitor and planning to join us, we are open to inviting you all to be part of our ministry. There's the different ministries there, and if you need more information on that, speak to one of the pastors, and we'll be glad to give you more info on that. We ask you to be praying for this because in a, in a week or two we'll be having some forms that you would need to complete that helps the nominating committee to help us in the different ministries and assign you according to your gifts. Well, we are beginning our Men of God ministries, our Men of God here from Fort Worth First. We are inviting you to our first meeting on Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. It's the upper room that we are creating for you. You could see the current room, the future room, and you men, we want you all out here Tuesday evening. We do have a snack for you, so we'd love for you to join us. Joseph Sibuk is our men's ministries director, and we'd love for all our men to come out. Ladies, get your men out, encourage them to come out, and let's spend some time together. Wednesday evening, we do have our intercessory prayer, and we want to encourage you from the comfort of your homes, wherever you are in the world, to join us via Zoom, and this is every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Next Sabbath, we have Ed Porter who is getting baptized, so we have a baptism during our worship service, and we're looking forward to keep Ed Porter in your prayers as he prepares for baptism next week. And the same evening, to those of you visiting with us, our Pathfinders are hosting a Valentine's banquet. If you have not made arrangements, don't know where to go to, we have a five-course meal that's going to be served here in our gym, and it's going to be a beautiful setup, as you could see on the invite there. Support our Pathfinders at 7 p.m. There's uh, tickets being sold, $25 per person, and you won't be disappointed. So we encourage you to support our Pathfinders here at Fort Worth First. These are the announcements for today, and we trust that you all are blessed and enjoying the Sabbath here at Fort Worth. Uh, do we have Maya and Ian? Let's get Oh, you're here. All right, it's time for our children's offering. 
They're going to help us with the baskets so our children could come forward and take up these fishy nets and go out and fish for money as we support our worthy student. Here again, we're supporting Christian education, so let's do our part. Our story today comes from Norma McFadden, and she will bless our children. Happy Sabbath. Did I scare you? Did I wake you? How are you? Happy Sabbath. I'm missing some eyes up here. I'm missing a lot of eyes, Laurita. I'm missing some eyes. I'm missing some beautiful eyes. Yes, thank you. So, today in kindergarten class, we went over some stuff, right? So, uh, Pastor, I mean, Dr. Hans, I am from the Department of Transportation, Road, and Highway Safety. Yes. So, uh, because you are stuck in there, we just want to make sure you guys are safe. That is our priority here at the Department of Labor. And we make sure that these roads are uh, safe for you guys, and also we are responsible for the stop signs, the one-way signs, the construction, the fixing, and we also, all these signs that you see on the road, they are for your safety, yes. I know a lot of adults may follow them, some may not, I don't know, but let me tell you that God is the same way. He has some safety rules, and there's 10 of them. And for you guys, a lot of them don't apply to you, but your parents have safety rules for you at home, yes? Yes? One is not touching the iron, right? What happens if you touch it? You'll burn yourself, yeah. Another one is don't touch anything on the stove. Why do you think that you can't? 
too hot. Yes. So, so there's a lot of safety rules out there. And also, those of you, I, I had three daughters, and they're already old. But I told them when we were getting out of the car, be careful and wait for me. Don't move because there's other moving cars coming, and they may not see you. So these safeties rules are to keep you safe. We're not mad at you. We love you so much that we have provided some safety rules for you. In our class, we talked about choices. And God has given us choices, even though that we have these safety rules. Uh, and also, FYI, for those adults, when we are in construction, the speed limit is 50. When you see those, it might not be posted, but uh, it, it is 50 if you didn't know. And also, if you see something on the side, a police or anything, you're supposed to move over a lane. It's a law now. So those are there to keep us safe. So I have a daughter, and she decided to put her seatbelt halfway. She had it at the lap, but she moved the front part and she put it in the back. And guess what? A police stopped us. And he gave my daughter a ticket. And she didn't even have a driver's license. She was 15. So we had to go to court. And the judge says, you were not following the safety rules. Seatbelts are there to what? To protect. So. When we're making choices, there's something you guys can use. My kindergarten class got, has these. So what we're going to do, we're going to stop. Let's say that your friend says, let's go throw some rocks at some windows. What are you guys going to do? We're going to stop. Yeah. Then we're going to pray and say, dear Jesus, please help me make a happy choice. Amen. Then you're going to think. You're going to say, should I be really throwing rocks at a window? Mm, I don't think that's a happy choice. Right? So, then after you have, whoops, thinking. I got the wrong one. After you have thought about it, then you have two choices. Either you make a sad choice the chance, sad choice is if you break something and they find out, you're going to have to probably pay for it, and then mommy's going to be upset, you're going to be in trouble. So that's a sad choice. The happy choice is not to throw the rock, and you will get in trouble. So let's go over it before you guys leave. When you have a choice, what are you going to do? Stop. Then you're going to pray. Then you're going to think. Then you're going to decide. choose, decide. How many choices do you have? Two. Two. A happy choice and a sad choice. Yes? So today, we are going to make choices that are safe. Yes? Let's go ahead and end with a prayer. Are you guys ready? Repeat after me. Dear Jesus. Thank you for the Sabbath. Thank you for letting me choose. And I always want to make happy choices. Thank you for loving me. In Jesus' name, amen. All righty, you guys can walk quietly to your places. Thank you. Thank you, Norma, for that lovely story and reminder to us drivers to be careful and make sure that we adhere to all the signs and uh, the warnings that are given to us. We are happy to have Burton Academy Choir, the high school choir here with us this morning. 
And we are, I trust you're already blessed as they sang to us this morning as they brought in our, began our worship service. It's a joy to be in the presence of God and especially when we could have wonderful music during the hour of worship. I'm so glad that you all are here and have braved the weather to be with us this morning. With a song, Jesus, in his earthly life, met temptation. Often when sharp, stinging words were spoken, and when the atmosphere about him was heavy with gloom, with dissatisfaction, distrust, or oppressive fear, his song of faith and holy cheer was heard. On that last sad night of the Passover supper, as he was about to go forth to betrayal and to death, his voice was lifted in the psalm, Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore, from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. The value of song as a means of education should never be lost sight of. Let there be singing in the home of songs that are sweet and pure. And there will be fewer words of censure and more of cheerfulness and hope and joy. Let there be singing in the school and the students will be drawn closer to God, to their teachers and to one another. As a part of a religious service, singing is as much an act of worship as is prayer. Indeed, Many a song is prayer. If the child is taught to realize that he will think more of the meaning of the words he sings and will be more susceptible to their power. What a beautiful thought and a reminder to us, taken from the book Education, page 166 and 168, that music is an act of worship. We may not have a sermon, but as you listen to each song, that is sung and the lyrics that are, are used in each song may be a blessing to us as we sit at the feet of Jesus. With these words, may we all be blessed as we listen to the songs being sung this morning under, uh, by Burton Adventist High School Choir under the directorship of Mr. Jameson Francis. Over to you. Good morning, everyone. Oh, come on. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Sabbath. Thank you for allowing us to come here and share our gifts of music. On behalf of Burton Academy, uh, we're so thankful to just uh, be out here and share the gifts of the, of the kids. And this morning, even in addition to the music that we're going to share, we're going to do a couple of uh, what's called student highlights to get, to get to know a couple of our students and and they can get to tell you a little bit about their experience uh, at Burton Academy. And so um, I'm just thankful again for all the kids and the parents and everybody that made this uh, possible. And so we're going to get into it real fast, and then I'll come back with a uh, student highlight. Thank 
Thank you. This morning, uh, first we're gonna do a highlight. This is Tyler. Everybody give Tyler a hand. Hello. There we go. Thank you, Tyler, for stepping in this morning. And uh, we're just gonna, or I'm just gonna ask you a couple of questions. <laughs> they're, they're laughing, the kids. Oh, right, here we go. So I just want you to, to share just a little bit about your experience at Burton. Uh, Tyler, what grade are you in? Uh, I'm a senior. Senior. It's about to go off, huh? Yeah. Where do you know where you're going to school yet? Uh, it's between Swallow and Southern. Swallow and Southern. All right, what are you going to study? Uh, I want to tr study to become a doctor. A doctor, all right. Following the footstep of his parents. So, uh, Tyler, how long have you been at Burton? Uh, I've been at Burton since pre-K, so about like 13 years, yeah. 14 years. Talk about an investment. And there's what, four of you guys? Yeah, there's four of us. I'm the oldest, I have two sisters, and then I have a younger brother. Yeah, and so and they've been doing this since kindergarten. That's uh, quite, uh, quite the investment. Uh, what's your favorite subject, Tyler? Uh, my favorite subject, probably physics. Even though it's like really hard for me, I just enjoy like learning how everything kind of works, all the different forces. But it really hurts my brain every time I sit in the class. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that I took, at one point I was an engineering major when I was in college and uh, I took physics, it was the calculus-based physics and it was, man, it was rough. Uh, needless to say, I changed my major, so <laughs> I was kind of done with that, all right. Uh, so Tyler, tell me, um, what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, my free time, uh, I think I like to be alone, so uh, <laughs> we have quite a bit of instruments in our house, so I'll go practice my violin or play the piano sometimes. Um, but if I want to go outdoors or do something physical, I'll go play basketball outside or go take a walk or maybe read a book if I don't fall asleep, you know. <laughs> fall asleep. Not bad, not bad. Um, tell me, what is one thing that you really like about Burton? Uh, one thing I really like about Burton, I think it's just the atmosphere being there. Um, for me, personally, I've noticed that not just by the students having a great relationship with each other, but it's with the teachers also. And with the teachers and the students having a great relationship all together, it kind of like makes it feel like home. It doesn't feel like I go to school thinking that like, oh, it, this is school. When I go to school or when I wake up to go take my classes, I say to myself, oh, I'm going to Burton. I'm not going to school, I'm going to Burton. So there's a still a learning experience happening at the same time, but at the same time, just walking through the hall saying what's up to everybody. Um, at the end of the day, uh, doing our basketball practice, soccer practices, it's like, hey, it's, it's all fun, you know? It's all good. Uh, I can, I can uh, attest to that. We have, my wife and I, we have two kids that are there. One's in high school, one's a ninth grader. Our youngest is a seventh grader. And uh, being at Burton has been a great experience for them because they actually they don't just go to school together, they do life together. You know, we, we go to church together, play sports together, we hang out together. And so, uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a good place. Now, obviously, you know, we have our things like some other schools, you know, but, but overall, it's, it's a great place. Great place to be, um, great staff and faculty, great kids. So thank you, Tyler, for that, all right? You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so this song that we're about to do, um, this song, the title of it is, is Old Time Religion. And basically, the, the idea of this song is every day of the week, we have to take God with us. We just don't have God with us just on the Sabbath. But every day, every day. So what's going to happen, it's a chorus. We start on Sunday, and we progress through the end of the week to where we end up on Saturday. And if, it's, and if it's a particular day that really speaks to you, like you say, oh man, I'm really blessed on Tuesday, we want you to stand up, all right? So the idea is by the time we get to the end of the song, everybody's standing, all right? Can we do that? Yes? All right, thank you.
guys okay? <laughs> I love that song, all right? We, so our next student highlight, I need Brandon and Abby. Let's grab one of those. We got a brother-sister duo going on right now. So I guess, uh, Abby, what grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade. Ninth grade. Brandon, what grade are you in? I'm a senior. He's a senior. Is your mic on? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, cool, cool. Uh, he's a senior, right? So um, let's start with, let's see here. Abby, I'll start with you. Start with you. Um, how long have you been at Burton? Um, I've been at Burton around 11 years, I believe. 11 years? Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. Brandon, how long have you been? I, this is my 14th year. I've been here since pre-K. 14th year since pre-K. Talk about an investment. Man, um, Abby, what's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is uh, English. I love the way that you can express yourself through poetry, short stories, essays. I just, I love writing. Awesome. Brandon? Well, I'm not currently taking this class, but in last year, I took a dual credit computers class, and I really enjoyed that because I like coding, so. Yeah, not bad, not bad. So Brandon, real fast, um, do you know where you're going to school when you graduate? Uh, I'm thinking of going to Southern Adventist University in Tennessee. Okay. Um, I right. think that's the main one I'm considering right now, but it's not for sure. Not for sure yet, but he's leaning towards Southern, so not bad, not bad. Uh, let's see, Abby, um, what do you like to do in your free time? Um, I really enjoy sports like volleyball, and um, I enjoy playing guitar and ukulele and singing. Um, and I also enjoy hanging out with my family and friends and nature. Awesome, like that. awesome. What about you, Brandon? Well, I, I do quite a few different things. I like playing tennis with oh. a few of my friends. Um, I also, I play video games. <laughs> I, yeah. uh, 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 oh, I grow plants sometimes. Oh, wow. Man, a little, you got green thumb? A little bit, yeah. A little bit, kind of. All right, not bad, not bad. So, um, Abby, tell me, what is one thing that you really like about Burton? Um, I've been here my whole life. You know, this is my only school that I've ever gone to that I can remember. And so I've grown up with the community, and I know everyone's name, and that matters to me a lot. It's the friendships that you make and the friendships that you keep. And I've known some of my best friends since pre-K. And oh. so I, they're still my best friends, they're still here. Some people, they leave. But it's about the new friendships you'll make and the ones that you keep at Burton. Right, you know what, and, and even though they leave, I've seen this happen since the time my kids will be there, they'll leave, like move away or whatever else, and a lot of times those kids end up coming back. Yeah. You know, and we seem like, oh, you're back. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we're back. We were at so-and-so, and, uh, but we miss Burton. That's where we want to be. So not bad, Abby. Um, what's one thing you like about Burton? Well, right. for me, it's kind of a combination between what Abby said and what Tyler said. Uh, it's like kind of just it feels comfortable, um, and it's like kind of a, I don't want to say, well, yeah, safe. Uh, just I feel comfortable with all the teachers and all the people in my class. I even if I'm not the closest with everyone in my class, I feel like I know them and they know me. So, yeah. Awesome, that's good. So do you have any, um, how would I say, what's, what's I would say, what is your biggest kind of um, lesson or takeaway from your experience at Burton? You go and then you go. Uh, um, I don't know, just, I'm not good at thinking fast like that. Uh, <laughs> um, I know that wasn't one of the questions I sent, so yeah. I just kind of put them on the spot. Uh, just, um, you know, like your friends. Don't, don't be afraid to like, uh, just be friendly with people. Okay. Just, just uh, have fun with people. That's awesome. Yeah. And so, guys, uh, uh, no, Brandon is. Um, his mom could attest to that. It wasn't Natalie. She's right there. He, he's, he's, he's pretty shy for the most part. And so what he's doing right now, this is, this is huge for, for Brandon, you know. And, uh, yeah, give him a hand. <laughs> and I remember when we, when, uh, when we first got in the choir class, I think it was after a couple of classes, Brandon came up to me. He said, uh, 
he said, uh, Mr. Francis, you know, uh, you know, if there's a solo, I want I think I'm gonna do a solo. I want to do a solo, you know, going forward. And I said, well, really? He said, yeah, it's my senior year, so I might as well. I might as well just, just do something. And I was like, wow. I was like, man, that's awesome. So kudos to you. You know, remember that, right? Abby. Uh, well, I have three more years, three and a half, so I know I have a lot left to learn. But a lesson that I've already taken away, I guess it would be to hold on to the people that you have and that, you know, the community that we built at Burton uh, clearly surrounds God. Mm -hmm. And so I've learned the importance of God in your everyday life, what matters. And so I would say priorities are something, a lesson I can take away from Burton. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Brandon and Abby. Thanks so much. So we have uh, two more selections that we're going to do. And so we hope that you've been blessed by the music as well as getting to know a couple of our students. Um, it's a privilege to to be here and represent Burden, and I, and I hope you guys are really blessed by our ministry through song.
you blessed this morning? Such a joy when we see our young people up front. You guys, you guys did great today. I know you didn't have school this past week, but the fact that you are here this morning to praise God. I want to say thank you to you. That you are here and it's all about lifting Jesus. It's all about him as you keep the focus. I couldn't resist the first song, Old Time Religion. It was one of my favorites. I was at Jefferson Christian Academy since 2007 to 2011, I think. And it was one of our favorite songs in chapel with the students. So it's been a blessing that I couldn't resist but stand and sing with you guys brought back some really good memories. If you've been at Academy and if you sang the song, or maybe as the administration as myself, you would be blessed. And such a joy when we could praise God in song. We enjoyed your testimonies. So good uh, to know that uh, you love Christian education and enjoy that friendship of all that you've made in these years. And uh, to those of you I know, the Kabansaks, uh, Joel from here, and uh, Aras, so good that you're still here and still praising God. Thank you to our parents here for investing in our children. Thank you for taking the time. We know it was a challenge, Mr. Francis, not having these kids the whole week. It was touch and go, but praise God we're here, we've accomplished, and, our, and we are blessed. I'm blessed this morning. As our Redeemer leads us to the threshold of the infinite, flushed with the glory of God, we may catch the themes of praise and thanksgiving from the heavenly choir round about the throne as the echo of the angel's song is awakened in our earthly homes. Hearts will be drawn closer to the heavenly singers. Heaven's communion begins on earth. We learn here the keynote of praise from Educa Book of Education, page 168. Let us always appreciate songs of praise to our God. It is my daily prayer for me, and I pray for all of you, that no matter the instabilities or the uncertainties that we are surrounded by each day, that we will be purposeful in pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day, still praying as I onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground because Jesus wants us all to be on higher ground. He wants us all to spend eternity with him. Let us strive daily to be kind, to be loving, and to be honest and sincere in our walk with him. So we all can sing, Hosanna, be lifted higher as we live daily for him invite you to stand as we bring our service to a close in prayer. Let us pray. Oh, loving Father, we're indeed blessed this afternoon. It was so good to, to get out and to come and worship you and you only through music today. Some of us were blessed to be in our Sabbath school classes and to learn more about being good stewards and managers of what you've entrusted in our care. We thank you, Lord, for our students from Burton Academy, for our educators that take the time to educate our children. We thank you, Lord, for the way they have blessed us with testimonies and, and music this morning. And now, Lord, it's for us to plant our feet on higher ground. That no matter where we go, what we do, as we influence others, may we influence them for the good. That will always be about lifting Jesus higher. Help us to be kind and loving and lovable. Keep us safe. O oh, Holy Spirit, as you dismiss us with your blessing, may we go in the name of Jesus. We ask this in your precious name. Amen. You may be seated. We'd like to thank those of you that have joined us live stream. The Lord bless. Thank you to our Burton Academy choir. Let's give them a round of applause. Applause. 
once again, thank you, Mr. Francis. We appreciate you. Thank you all for being here. God bless and have a safe and wonderful Sabbath.